Hello, Capricorn. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support, and I send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. This reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for a sign of Capricorn? What is Capricorn needing to know at this current moment? Please and thank you. Let's see. Now I had to start you guys' this reading over twice. I'm already late doing your reading because, and I apologize for that, but I was not able to upload videos last week because I was having an issue with the YouTube channel. So I had to talk to them. I was uploading the videos, but it wouldn't allow me to put a title on it. It was taking my title and description away. So then I couldn't post it. So <clears throat> I just couldn't do any more until I had that straightened out. So I apologize. Let's see. Messages for Capricorn. Oh, wow. I have not seen this card. I don't think... Unless I just never fully paid attention to it. All right. Overall energy is the king of pentacles. Um, so a successful time for you guys. Confidently accept opportunities you're offered in the Midas touch. So right now you guys have Midas touch, whatever you're touching turns to go. So, you know, take full advantage of it because it looks like right now is a very uh, prominent time for you guys to achieve what you've been wanting to achieve. Finances should be going very well for you guys. Let's see, clarify the two of wands as the current energy for Capricorn. Some of you guys have two people coming towards you. Let's see. You're just doing your own thing. Um, it looks like you have a new person and a past person. Because it's someone that you don't trust that's coming towards you. They're trying to find a way to sneak back into your life. Um, yeah, you have two people coming towards you. Now, this past person looks like you get a thrill out of this person. But I'm getting you're over that. At some point, you guys may have been attracted to the bad boys, the bad girls, but it's not appealing to you anymore. Now you're manifesting a different type of energy towards you, and that's where this new person is coming in. But it's almost like because you were manifesting this past person at some point, they're still coming back around. So it looks like you'll have to just, you know, let them know what it is at this point. Clarify this Knight of Cups for me. How would Capricorn know? Two of Swords. Again, going back to you having to make a decision. You will have to decide whether you want to move forward with this new person or entertain this past situation again because it looks like you're not completely over it. And in your last reading that I was doing, it was showing that there was a person that you're not completely over with because the Two of Swords was showing up in your challenge position. But it's showing up here now. So let's clarify the Queen of Wands. Um, and the Queen of Wands being in your challenge position. And the Queen of Wands is someone who's very confident, very graceful, very intelligent. So are you not as confident about yourself um, right now? Stretch your wings and fly. Don't, don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. So is there some self-doubt, some insecurity here? Capricorn, what is this about? Page of Cups and the Eight of Swords. I'm getting Capricorn. You guys dealt because the Page of Cups represents someone who is emotionally immature. And that's a message that I got as soon as I saw it. And then on top of that, the Eight of Wands or the Eight of Swords here. So what this is telling me is that someone's confidence has been affected by someone that they were romantically involved with. Or it could just be someone who was emotionally immature, a friend or a family member. But I'm getting that someone's confidence has been affected by someone who is emotionally immature. And they've created some self-doubt within your energy. To be honest, Capricorn, I know some of y'all, because you guys are usually extremely confident. 
but it's like someone here has caused you to be in this energy this eight of swords where it's like you're not so sure about yourself you're questioning yourself there's a lack of confidence here and it's all because of someone that you listen to and even though it's like you knew that they were full of shit you knew that it was just jealousy but you still absorb that energy let's see clarify the eight of pentacles skilled work is re uh, rewarded learning all there is to know about a topic and going back to school clarify the eight of pentacles three of wands so there is growth and expansion um There's also a warning about seeking advice from too many people. Because um, some of you guys may be seeking guidance from several different people. Because it's like some people giving you a headache. You know, it's like you got some people right in your ear. Um, I don't know. It's almost like people telling you how to do something or what to do. But you just need to really listen to what you're being guided to do in some sort of situation. There is success. There's growth and expansion. So I don't know. Some of you guys are already in school. Whatever you're working on, continue to work on it. Because it's leading you towards growth and expansion here. So it's like you see something, but it's still in the distance. But you're on your way there is basically the message that I'm getting. So don't allow other people to put things in your ear, your ear and stretch you out. I don't know. It's like some of you guys, while you're building towards something, you could have people like trying to stretch you out and make it more difficult for you. But they're basically just trying to guide you to tune that out and continue to stay focused on the goal, the end goal here. Okay, clarify the night of air. So events that occur with great speed, take time to caref carefully review your options and creative so uh, solutions. The night of air, which is also the night of swords, represents opportunities coming in. The moon, the lovers. Oh, okay. So what I'm getting is with this past person, let me take a, take a sip of this. I'm sorry. With this past person, it looks like this person kept their feelings hidden from you with the moon showing up here. Now I'm getting that you felt this intense connection between you and this person, but their feelings, their intentions towards you were never revealed from this person, at least. You guys may got readings about this person, but they never revealed their feelings towards you themselves. And because this is an energy that you need to release with Knight of Swords, this is the energy of the knight in shining armor coming in to save the day. And it's almost like that's what you guys were anticipating with this person. You were hoping that they would come in and save the day, but you never got that out of this person. And I'm getting that's why they're guiding you to find yourself again, to uh, find that rhythm again, your own rhythm again, not one that you wanted to, uh, the one you wanted to collaborate with this person. It's like you just finding that rhythm on your own again and attracting the right person towards you because I don't see you getting what you want out of this person. And it's like, by the time they realize your worth, you will be worth more. I think you guys had this. This probably was like, I don't know. But I, I remember that message before. <clears throat> Let's see. Clarify the nine of cups. And this is what you should be focused on, which is your happiness. What brings you joy? Finding it all on your own. Some of y'all do have some wishes uh, coming true. Concerns are fading away and you have a love of a lifetime coming in. Let's see. Clarify the Nine of Cups for me. Knight of Pentacles. Someone who takes their time. I'm getting the right person has slowly but surely been moving towards you. And I keep... Did I get this with you guys? The Three of Cups. I think I got it probably the last time I was doing your uh, reading. Just a little bit ago. Where you meet someone having a good time out with some friends, enjoying yourself, or someone that you 
someone that you will say you really enjoy their company, you have a great time with, and they will say the same thing about you. Okay, clarify the awakening as the uh, person who's focused on Capricorn at this time. Looking at things from a different perspective. A temporary standstill is important to be yourself. Clarify the awakening. The Empress. That's the problem. That's the problem. And then Four of Wands showing up here too. This is you finding that stability. Um, you finding your happiness. You loving and nurturing on yourself with the Empress energy. This is that glow up. Things going very well for you. Attracting abundance towards you. Being around people, like-minded people who support and uplift you, Capricorn. But with the awakening being there, that means someone has their eye on you. They're seeing all of these great things taking place in your life. They want to be a part of it. That's it. Some of you guys, this person, they just can't stand the fact that you found all of this outside of them. Like they want it to be accredited or have... They want it to be accredited for your happiness. So, yeah, someone is focused on you, but it's not like they're happy for you. It's, it's more of a look, you know, look at Capricorn. It's more of jealousy, envy. It's like they can only be happy for you if they're given the credit for your happiness is basically what I'm getting. Give me one more uh, about this person. The nine, yes, this is someone that you, is someone from the past that you've been wounded by before. Some of you guys may feel like this person completely surprised you. Everything that you thought you knew about this person, you realized was a lie. It's someone that you definitely release or you've been working on releasing so that you'll be able to open your heart up to the right person. So you guys may have been stable before this person came into your life. And then after this person came into your life, you found yourself back in that, you know, position of trying to balance things out again, trying to get things back into balance. But it's like before, I don't know. It's like some of you guys may have to relocate. So I'm getting it's like, okay, you know that you're being guided in a new direction now. But it's like you're having to get things back into balance before you are before you can move forward. So I'm getting like someone kind of lost a lot in a relationship, in a connection with someone. But with the Empress showing up, this is saying that you're going to find your way and you're attracting abundance uh, towards you. You're loving and nurturing the things that you want to grow, including yourself. Some of you guys may have some business. I don't know. It's something here that you're loving and nurturing on in order for it to grow. But that's including yourself. So it's like you're building something up after it was destroyed by someone that you fell in love with. Okay, clarify the emperor for me as the advice. Organization and logic, structure and discipline and leadership. So right now you guys may be needing structure and discipline to be very organized. Will of Fortune and the Seven of Pentacles. Whenever I see the Will of Fortune, it's my card to let me know that you would benefit from working with the universe to manifest something here. So some of you guys will benefit by being out in nature. I don't know as many ways that people work with the universe. I know my way. You have to find your own way. Nobody can tell you how to walk in this. I, I think that's the biggest misconception when it comes to religion and spirituality is that, yes, you should be inspired by other people, but you should never take another person's journey on as your own. We're all meant to find our own way in this uh, universe. We're all supposed to find our way back to the source. That's really all it is. So this is you with the will of fortune Figuring out like how to connect with the universe, how to work with the universe in order to manifest what you desire. Look, with the Seven of Pentacles. And look, we have the Emperor coming out again. Now, the thing is, because I definitely see you coming into it. If, 
you are a feminine energy. I see like you taking on more of masculine traits and it's just because you had to. But you have a masculine energy coming in where you'll be able to step into like your feminine energy more. And that's where I see the Empress coming in. But it's like right now you've had to, you've had to be the boss. You've had to be the father and the mother. You've had to be everything. The masculine and the feminine. And it looks looks like you've taken on more feminine or not more it looks like you will be taking on more feminine qualities but more masculine qualities in order to protect yourself in order to you know build what you what you needed to in your life but i am getting the right person coming in where you don't have to play that role anymore okay let's see Okay, final message for Capricorn. Final message for Capricorn. Learning and promise. <clears throat> you know what? And to be honest, I'm not... Uh, I am getting like this past person is going to come back towards you. And they're going to like tell you everything that you want to hear, to be honest. Because they're basically convincing you that they're, you know, learning. They're trying to figure things out. They're trying to become a better person. And they're going to give you a lot of promises. A lot of promises um, that you think you have to be able to heal this connection and move forward. But I'll be extremely cautious of this person. And... I wouldn't rush into anything with this person. I don't necessarily see them coming back until you've already met someone new. But there is a chance of this person coming back around when they see all of these things developing or working out for you. It's like quite possibly, I don't know, uh, they thought you weren't going, going to be able to manage things without them. And they see that you're doing very well without them. And then they're like, well, hell. I need to get back with Capricorn. I need to make things work with Capricorn. You know, after they almost destroyed your entire life, it's like someone did something to like really throw things off in your life. And you find your way again and they want to be a part of your life again. It's like, oh uh, no. Okay, let's see. Final messages for Capricorn. Final messages. False person and mature woman. <clears throat> message of concern. I it's I really keep getting the same message, to be honest. With message of concern, I do see this person finding a reason to reach out to you. But I'm getting that, like, you know. You can see right through this person at this point. You know that they're not the right one for you. But I do see another temptation coming from this person. But again, I'm... Like I said, it's like by the time they realize your worth, you'll be worth more. So I am going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment if this reading resonates. With that being said, you all take care.